Welcome into the back end of your WordPress site. Hopefully you're following along with your site and are doing everything as we are doing it here in the video. So first things first, you are probably seeing a blank screen with a question asking what type of site are you building, whether you're doing business or personal, and you're just going to want to click, I don't need help. Then you're going to see this dashboard and there'll be another question or statement here asking about when you're ready to publish your site, click here, just click here right now. That way it will get the site published so we don't have to mess with it later. Then you're gonna go down here to settings and click general. Make sure your site name is your company name. You can do your tagline if you'd like. And then next is a very, very important task that we cannot mess up because I did the first run through and that is setting up the URL of your site. For both of these, they need to be the exact same. And so most likely what you are seeing is the forward slashes and then straight into the URL. You're going to want to add www dot before the URL on both of these site URL and WordPress address. As you can see, mine are grayed out here on my screen. And that is because the first time through I accidentally hit an extra W and then I hit save by mistake and I broke my site. So I had to, had to get into the file manager and dig into the code and fix my mistake. Now you definitely don't want to do that because if you don't know how to do code and all that kind of crazy stuff and locate the actual file that you need to change, you're gonna have to call up customer service and it'll take an hour on the phone to get it all figured out. Avoid that issue and save yourself the time. Just make sure this is 100% perfect before you go down here and click save. So then we're gonna go over here to reading and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your static posts or your latest posts is the front page display. That way with the WordPress theme, the unique design will be on the front page instead of one of the pages that you would select. Hit save changes, good to go there. For writing, discussion, and media, we won't be changing anything there. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to permalinks you're going to select post name. And so that way, when we enter in a post or a page, it'll be our website.com slash about or slash services slash contact. And there won't be any date or time or any of that sort of stuff on there. Make sure you have post name selected, then click save changes. So now that we have our site structure for the most part set up, we're going to go to plugins and you're gonna hit add new. And to save time, there are three crucial ones that I will show you that you need to have that are by specific owners. And for the rest, I will put a list of them in the bio below the video. So first things first, you're gonna, and you're gonna search for all in one SEO. There are tons of other SEO plugins out there. Yoast SEO is another very popular one, but I like the simplicity of all in one. So that's the one we're going to use in. But the main thing is just get an SEO pack installed to your site. So you're going to basically click install now and then activate it. And it's already active here on the site. So it's showing active. Next thing you're going to want to do is Google XML sitemap. And you're going to want to install this one by Arnie Bratchhold with over a million installs and a five star rating. Install activate then XML sitemaps videos. The next one you're going to want to install is Google XML sitemaps for videos. And it has over 80,000 active installs. It's by Ar Arnit Argwal, however you say his name and install activate just like that and what these sitemap video or these sitemap plugins are for is to help ping google and what these do is index your sites when you post something whether it's a post or a page and get it indexed faster because the sooner it's indexed the sooner we can be sending links to our site and i'll explain the whole process of seo in the next video but you can then start sending links and getting seo work done to get that built up so that it will show up in the search results faster with these plugins So next you're going to do, you're going to, you're going to install Google XML sitemaps. And basically what that does is organize your site so that it can be better indexed by Google. Then you go in, install now, activate, and then Google XML sitemaps for videos. This will also help and you want to install that. Make sure it's by Arnit or Emmit Agarwal. It's the one with 70,000 plus active installs. And you're going to want to install and activate that. And so then here are the 
require the initial plugins that you will want to use right away. So we have the all-in-one SEO pack, contact form seven, this will help. So you can create a custom contact form. So that way you have a lot of questions that can be answered by your prospective customer when they are entering in their information, when they want to get a quote from you. These are things like asking them their monthly budget, what exact services they want, when they want the project done, or when they want services to start if it's maintenance, and a whole other host of questions that you can ask them. So that way that saves a lot of time when you are on the phone and communicating with them. Next up is Google Analytics. And then we have our copy content protection and word fence security. So that does it for our plugins for at least the time being. Next up, we're going to go find a theme. So you're going to go to themes, click add new theme. If you want to pay for a theme, you certainly can. There are websites where you can get themes for as low as 30 bucks or as high as $200 or more. It really just depends on your budget and, and how you want your site to look. If you are on a very tight budget, there are tons of free themes available, but I'll include a list of places where you can get themes for great prices. These are places like Theme Forest, Three Themes, and just tons and tons of other sources out there to get them. But I'll include a list of a few below the video. But to find a, one that you maybe would so then you're going to want to select whichever theme works best for you. And, and you're going to want to have a design that is going to be able to communicate to your customers that we are a professional company, we know what we're doing, and we offer an awesome service and we have excellent customer service to go along with it. So we are going to go with IXL for this particular site. So we're going to click customize. And so the cool thing about WordPress themes is that we can edit these very, very simply and we don't have to know any kind of coding, which is very, very cool. Identity, so your site identity is going to be the same. Colors, you can certainly change this if you would like. I am going to leave this just as it is here. And so for a background image, we are going to upload an image. And one very, very important thing that you want to do in the alternate text is make sure that the alternate text pertains to the keywords that you want to be targeting. So for this, we're going to do lawn care, champlain, landscaping, champlain, because we're going to target our hometown as if it is champlain in Minnesota. So then you click choose image. And there we go. We have a cool background to go along with our website. You can also edit the image position, which is very, very cool. So we're going to edit the position of the picture just like that and save it. Now that we have a theme set up, we need to first create a menu so that way we can have our navigation set up up here at the top of the screen. We're gonna create three different pages to add into a menu, and then we can add this menu to our page. So first things first, we're gonna do about. I'll be going through this a little bit quicker than it'll probably take you to get this all these done. But so then for your first page, which will be about the company, you're going to want to write something probably a little bit more descriptive than what I've done for this site. Since this is a company that doesn't technically exist, we're going to keep it pretty generic as far as going into being personable. However, with yours, you will want to be very personable, discuss your work background, your education, education background, whether it's formal or self-education, maybe even dig into your hobbies and what you like to do, and definitely, definitely include a picture of yourself on the About Us page. And so for SEO purposes, you're gonna scroll down here to your all-in-one SEO pack, and for the title, we are going to do About Us, and then I like to do these brackets, high-end outdoor spaces. It can be relatively generic as far as our meta tags and meta description. So what we're gonna do is, let's see here, about high-end outdoor spaces. So then you will go on to click publish and we are set. So now it is time to build our contact page. So what you're gonna do is go to pages, click add new and enter in contact us for the title and then you can click publish right now if you'd like. It's not gonna hurt anything, but it'll make things a little bit easier for what we're going to do when we are building out our contact form. So that way you can check your work quickly and easily. But before we do that, we're going to go down to the all-in-one SEO pack, enter in your title, do something along the lines of contact us, and then the bracket, or some sort of dividing bracket or a dash, then your company name, just like on the about page. 
And then for the description, you can do something along the lines of get in touch with the best landscaper in such and such area, or best lawn service in whatever area. This will help us a little bit as far as SEO goes. Now, as you can see, we have just this piece of code and it builds this whole thing out right here for us. And when someone enters in their information, it gets sent to us in an email. This may look very complicated, but it's, it's actually not that bad. But it is also very, very crucial to have on our website because we only have so much time in the day to be responding to leads and contacting people and being on the phone and emailing and all that sort of stuff. So we need to make sure every single lead that comes into our business is targeted in there within the budget that we can work with that will be profitable for us because if we're out there doing work that's not making us money, that's not good. This will also save a lot of time in the form of getting full contact information and getting the services that people are interested in and all that sort of stuff because there's nothing worse than just a name and a phone number coming in and then we have to email them or call them and figure out what services they want and where they're at and all that sort of stuff. It's just a huge pain and it sucks up a lot of time. This discovery form can really make things very, very clear and simple. So how did we go about building it? Well, basically we go to contact and we click add new, enter in your title, whatever you want it to be, contact form seven. And what you're going to see is this right here on your screen. This may look like some crazy tech stuff. However, it's not that complicated. You're going to have to enter in a little bit of code, but it's not complicated by any means. It's very, very simple, trust me. So you don't have to worry. It's merely copying and pasting. So what we're going to do is basically build out this form right here. When we want to add in a text form, we'll go to label, greater than, less than signs, if that's what they're called. And then you're gonna go street address and then parentheses required. Then, so this is going to be your label right here. So the label will be that right there and you are going to want to do, then do a text. I'm gonna make it required, do the name, doesn't really matter too much, and then you just click insert tag, and then the greater than, less than sign, whichever it is, then forward slash label, and that closes it out. So then we come over here, click save, and then if we were editing this page, let's just say I took out street address of property, and I just click save, then now that it's saved, that text is gone, but we have this text box here and somebody can input information right there. So then for the drop down menus, what you are going to want to do is do label. And if it is, if the question is the budget for the landscape project, you're going to enter in desired budget for the landscape project. I'm just gonna copy and paste it, type it in there, and then hit enter. And then you're going to want to click drop down menu. If you're just offering one branch of services, then you can make this required. But if you have lawn, a question of this for lawn service and another one for landscaping, you don't want this to be required because if someone's going through here and they don't want these services, but they want another, it just makes it more difficult to fill it out. Next thing that you want to do is very, very important. And that is allow multiple selections. So that way, if somebody wants a spring cleanup and weekly mowing, they can select it. And you click insert tag and then forward slash label, save it, it's ready to go. If you do find yourself having this issue with the one configuration error found, I'm not still not quite sure where the issue is on mine, but it, all these boxes work just fine. Always, always make sure that this closeout label is entered in. So what you'll do for the drop-down menu is if you wanna make it a required field, you can, you certainly can. And you basically just put your prices here. So say it's $100 or $1,000 to $10,000 or the next one can be 50 to 100, whatever. Then you insert the tag in there and we'll go over here to my contact form and you can see where we have the increments and basically what it will do is put it into quotes, then it closes the code out and then you always, always make sure that the label, the closeout label is there, you click save and it will create this for us right here. The drop down menu, you can make it select a blank one if you would like. And so then next you'll want to do check boxes. For that, we are going to click check box make it a required field if you'd like, and then you can enter in the options. So we have mowing, cleanups, fertilizing. Then it'll enter in, insert the tag, click save, and it, then it appears right here. And then somebody can select the services that they'd like. And then when the email gets sent to you, you'll know exactly what services they are looking for, what their budget is, and any specific other notes that they may have for the project. So now it is time to build our services page. Obviously I already have this first one built out, but this is how you will want to go about doing it. So that way it's very clean and organized to the point and 
easy to read for a visitor to come through and learn about the services that your company offers. What you want to do is services for the title or what we do, something along the lines of what your company does. And then for the first description, you'll want to enter in just a quick few sentences about what your company offers, why you're the best, something along the lines of that. And you want to make sure that the list of services is very, very organized because if it's not organized, it's going to be confusing to somebody. If you just have 30 services all listed out and they're not organized, someone's going to be confused and it's going to lead to somebody not contacting you because they couldn't navigate your website easily. What you want to do is create a section for each service outline. So if it's irrigation services, tree tree and shrub services, and snow services, whatever it may be, you'll want to create the text for it. Make it a heading two, which you just go and highlight heading two. Then you want to create a bulleted list or a numbered list, however you want to do it. And how you do that is you just click enter and then you'll hit the bulleted list and start typing away. Eventually what we'll be doing as we build up more pages in the future is taking this link and linking it to one of our other pages about this specific service. And of course we have our call to action here at the bottom and we are going to then link to our contact page. For the meta description and title services, company name, and we just talk about what we do and where we are from. This will help us a bit in the SEO department and you will then hit publish, ready to go. Quite simple and our website looks good. Our website is descriptive and we can now have prospective customers coming to our site. They know what we do, they can get a hold of us. And so now to set up our menu so that this is a little bit more organized, what we're going to want to do is just go to our dashboard, then go into appearance and then click customize. And you're going to go to menus, you're going to add a menu, add a menu, just do top menu or heading menu. And the location will be the display. And we're going to add items and we're going to do home about services contact and in this specific order, depending on how you want it to look. You can edit which one is first, second, third, fourth, however many you have. Just like that, we have our menu all set up. So now if you were following along, your site has its initial pages built out. A person could come to your site, learn about your company, learn what services you offer, and now contact you. So in the next video, we're going to dig into customizing the theme as far as colors and how our slider looks, What's what else is going to show up on the, on the home page, as well as our social links up here at the top of the page. So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in video number three. There should be a link to it somewhere here on the screen. There should be an annotation as well as a link below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or get in touch on Instagram at Launchpreneurship or Launchpreneurship.com. If you like this kind of training and want to learn more about starting your own lawn and landscape business, feel free to look us up at Launchpreneurship.com. Launchpreneurship 101, which is our flagship course, is about to be launched as of January 10th, 20. 2017. If you are watching this in the future, it is already out. So be sure to hit the annotation on the screen to check out that training course. It's pretty sweet and it's a lot of training in there that I think you're going to like. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.